Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we continue with Century City and our challenge to reach a population of 100,000. Now previously in the last episode we finished off at the Steelworks just down here as we're going to fly over and I wasn't really happy with its placement so I've turned it horizontally to work towards the mountain and uh, I think it's placed much better now. I've had to level out some of the terrain and uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that in a little bit. Also off camera I've put a little bit of detail in on our farm and that's reached level 2 which has opened up some new buildings so we're going to have to do some stuff with that and I've got a plan for one of the giant buildings that we get, the lemonade plant. So I want to be putting that down today as well. Okay, if we look at the bottom of the menu here, you can see we've got a huge demand for industry and I'm going to do something over in this corner. And as you can see, I've put some hedgerows along these dirt track roads. I think it makes it look more like a farm when we do that. And it looks like I've forgotten to hook the power up because I just changed the way this faces and I think it looks much better this way round. Unfortunately, when you don't level out some of the terrain, it can look a bit skew whiff when you do these buildings. So sometimes you just have to pick things up and place them down again. And it looks like our landfills are 88% full. So to help with that, I'm going to put an incineration plant down. And uh, we'll be burning some of the rubbish as well. Eventually we will get other options in order to help with our rubbish. So we'll unlock those as our city grows but for now an incinerator will help ease some of that pressure off. So a little bit of crime happening down there. But today I want to start off with a little bit of a tutorial about using the terrain editor and uh, I know it's a little bit scary to use it but some of the buildings that we want to place down on the uh, fishing harbour we need to have it flattened out properly and I want to put this anchovy farm down on one of that, that salmon farm. I'm also going to shift the uh, fish factory over to this corner as well to be with the industry down here. I think it would be more suited here. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to knock that train line down. I want a train line coming in here going behind this village just through. It's going to connect with the steel plant We'll have another line going into the main city itself and back between the city and that village. As you can see here we're starting to get a couple of abandoned buildings. This is because we don't have a high enough educated workers in our city. We need to put down a university. Now if you've got the DLC, the University Campus DLC, you can put something else down and I probably will. So for the time being, I'm actually just going to place a college down and that will keep us going just for now. We don't need to do a university campus just yet, but a college will keep us going. Okay, so this is the first point we're going to do. Now, I'm going to be putting down some big buildings here and in order to do that, we need to level the terrain out. Now, it's really not that hard actually to do, but all you've got to do is to set the level you want, right click and then left click and sort of just drag it along and you will get that level. Now, as you can see as we kind of work with the terrain here, I want to create a flat hill and a dip. We don't want everything flat and when it comes to residential it's not as important to get everything too flat but when you start putting some of these big factories down you're going to have to use this tool. So right click to set the level and then left click and continue. And that's how you level the terrain. So we've got a nice dip and a nice bit of space there. And I'm going to set the level off this road and bring it forward. So if we just right click here, sort of right next to that road and then flatten all of this out as well. And we've created our own hill. Don't worry about that road, we're going to delete the road later on. This is why you really need to be thinking about this before you start putting major buildings down. As you can see our road's just risen up there. But when we delete it, it'll all reset and we can place the road down again. So 
So we just flattened it all off and we're going to be able to put some different sort of buildings in. I think it would sort of come out more naturally this way. And there we go. And certainly when it comes to the harbours, you really need to be able to connect the fishing docks to a flat surface. So gonna have to get used to doing this but once you've got the hang of doing it it really is it's actually quite easy as you can see in the top left hand corner it says landscaping we have a certain amount of soil we can take put down or take and if you end up with too much soil just dump it somewhere in the ocean that's what I tend to do you can get rid of it anywhere you want or pick some up from in the ocean if you if you find yourself running out okay and because of that, we just need to take our road bit. Let's kind of flatten this area out as well, as you can see. So let's just bring our road back as it was before. When it comes to the farms, I like to keep the roads just sort of all over the place, really. They're not straight just how they are in the UK and they often got hedgerows on the side of them so and just there and I'll finish off this hedgerow coming down to this road after so let's put a key down and get another fish harbour on the go Okay, so we've got our little harbour working and I've moved the fish factory down here as you can see now it's just getting a delivery of fish and I've put it away from the market I felt them two buildings were too close together and we just look in here new unique factories that's what I'm looking for we have unlocked the bakery now we've already put an industrial steel plant down we haven't put a bakery down and that works in with our farm building. There's so many of these buildings to get. And uh, some of them I, I haven't used. Well, in fact, quite a lot of them I haven't used before. However, the bakers will need flour. And it doesn't look like I can place this one actually in this area. It needs to actually be within the vicinity of the farming space. So I'm going to have to stick this building here. Again, these are from the Industries DLC. So if we place down our flower plant, now we produce flour from the wheat and then we need flour to go to our bakery. So some of these farms are not working correctly. Um, they were at first, but I think the uh, farmland was very thin here. I don't know if this will work if I put an orchard down here does say it needs resources so I might have to just shift these two over there's another road that's got uh, some bright yellow patches that'll do fine for the orchards so 
we'll think about that later on but I think I do need some fruit for the go nuts donuts factory and I want to put that down here and there we go to the bakery so it requires a few things in order to make the bakery work and we've got our other buildings producing so we may as well put this one down there we go right on the harbour there we've got our bakery and our fish factory so at the beginnings of a little harbory industrial side just at the corner here and just sunken down as well so I'm liking this perhaps add something else down there a little bit later on okay so our flour mill need water and these industry buildings do eventually actually make the city quite a lot of money and then that helps in order to get other things going like tourism once you don't have to worry about the money so much you can afford to put some giant stadiums down and really do some other things okay so I've just moved our fruit fields over and I've put a couple of larger ones down and deleted them old farms just here because they weren't generating any crops so they are now that's all fixed now we need to think about education as you can see I've got a couple of high rises coming in now I've just swapped that round for a little bit of high density residential and I always planned to make the skyline in that area which is why I put them pathways in first I put a little bit of high density commercial in as well but it's just here on this avenue that I want to put down a modern technology institute now this works the same as the university does and I think it is from the campus DLC but I don't want to actually use the campus university yet I think we'll buy a totally different square and think about doing a university much later on but for now this college will work the same way as the classic university does and we just put a plaza down perhaps next to it here Ooh, I don't know about there nice and we'll get a little bit of high density commercial and stuff building around it to think about a pathway I'm not sure about putting one here as to how close that will actually make traffic lights there so but yeah if we had a little bit of high density coming in just at the end here okay so I think it's about time to continue this avenue off of the roundabout on this side I just want it sort of parallel to our other one so it'll be going around the outside and of course M2 dirt roads are going to be our main highway and I'm going to put some intersections coming down into our city and all sorts with that later on but we haven't warranted the highway just yet we're not going to be far off needing to put it down and extend it though so let's have the avenue coming round straight off and then down here in some sort of probably gonna waste money if I connect it straight like that um, you yeah, know I can certainly go wider than that but that's what I want to do I want to follow that line regardless so and I also want to get a train line in through this as well so using the original guideline I created let's just bring our four way down let's say another one here and over to here I'm probably actually gonna curve the road like I have on the opposite side on both sides but it's more of a guide now stop using the dirt track roads so much now as we have got a little bit more money coming in okay although I am in a minus at the moment so I need to keep an eye on that let's just 
just update this road. There we go. So we've got a set of traffic lights there. A fair amount of space between that and the roundabout. Of course this highway is going to completely bypass that city. Hopefully I can hook it up over to that end of the highway over there at some point. But for now it's going to continue along here past the steelworks. Of course I know it's only a dirt track road at the moment but we will do. Okay, so we do need to grow our population a little bit more before it's going to allow us to open the train lines. So we've got a little bit more space to play with here and it seems natural to bring that road just out and follow some of the existing roads. I want to avoid putting too many small roads onto our avenue though. So. This section here looks like a good spot to put some high density residential in. So, let's sort of come out here. In amongst this small stuff, we'll put some high rise in there. Just follow this row from here. So we keep with the symmetry. Just out to here. This sort of maximizes the squares we get, but I want to come down here and use this area as well. Um, now, if we put the road connecting here, You'll see it's just put in a whole set of traffic lights and there's no gap for anybody to wait off that roundabout so we, we must avoid that at all costs so I think this road's just going to have to be a dead end. Okay so let's bring it down to here now if we bring the exit out there like so there's plenty of space between that and the roundabout and we'll just do that perhaps put some pathways just connecting to the avenue. So we're going around the back of the college. Just put ordinary path here and here. Which runs along next to the car park that we've put on. Gives people a way to walk onto this end as well. And put another park, just a pathway rather just onto the avenue like so, and then they can walk through this way as well. Okay. And I think I might put a pathway coming here. It says naturally the crossing's just there. And I think, yeah, in fact what we'll do is we'll probably just knock that big high rise down and have it come alongside here like so. Let's get rid of the end here. And I'm just gonna dezone this commercial piece here. And we can have a couple of commercials on this corner. Okay. Around our college, I see no reason not to have some high density commercial just here and on the avenue in this corner. Pretty much going down this avenue. Okay. And along here as well. build up, help our city grow and get to our next milestone. And I'll do some more detailing at some point, but I'm liking this so far. It's looking good. It's starting to come along now. 
Nice skyline starting to arrive on our city. And, ooh, hey, there we go, small city. So we've just hit a population of 9,000. And with it, we've unlocked a few things, including the train line, which is where I want to get today. Now I can start putting some of the train infrastructure down. And I've been planning for this. It is one of the difficult things to plan for. But I'm hoping to put a train line on this avenue just here as well. Quite close to the college, in fact. That seems to be working quite nicely just there. Okay. That's our flower plant. It was all looking good and our harbour's all looking good. So I'm going to delete the uh, old abandoned thing that was on the map and uh, the track that was just laid down here. This is just here purely to have an outside line and in order to ship cargo in and out you can use the uh, cargo port and this really will help ease traffic if you've got this sorted in your city properly. So let's put that down and we don't need the existing track that's there so let's just get rid of that it's really there just like the highways connect to the outside of the map and it's just the way the game really works so even though you see these train lines or the highways placed down they're totally changeable in fact they're meant to be but it's just a way that the traffic comes in because these maps are actually quite large okay so I find when doing train lines well you've kind of got to work differently to roads I like to see the curvy lines it's very rare you see train lines all straight so what I want to do is come around the back of this village get this line in along the back here and I will put a train terminal in just here for this little village to get into the major city as well so let's just get rid of this residential I mainly just put it on the outside here anyway just to encourage growth into the city still need to do some more detailing on this little village that we have here This is just going to remain as a little tiny village though. Okay. So let's bring our track out. Kind of in this direction. Get something down to give us a guide as to where we're going to go. The key is you really don't want to have any sharp bends. And just get it around here. There we go. Sort of an easier turn off need to adjust it slightly and if we just continue with this s type bend over towards the back of the map send this down towards our steel plant just bend it this way something like that yeah okay so we just take it back there we go so i've now got the second cargo terminal down this track goes all the way over to the other side to our baking area and that's our first train line down so that's going to help a lot of pressure off the road especially when we get that factory down it's going to save a lot of work okay now we want to get a passenger terminal in passenger train so we just place one just down here off this avenue right near the highway and yeah somewhere amongst all of these shops on the end quite close to our college i might actually end up putting a bigger station actually this is more of a little village station i'm just going to delete this now I shove the small train station in down at the village here. Okay, 
And I'm actually going to change that line for the cargo line. And we're going to build a bridge straight across the river. So there we go. So we've got a cargo train line running at the back. That means it won't be queuing up at our passenger station. And it kind of just bypasses that station. So nothing can be held up there. And we can continue that passenger lane onto this line, no problem. Just curve that round there like so. Just bring this one round. Like so. Just a nice gentle curve into there. Let's like say passenger line doesn't actually have to come onto the cargo line at all at the moment so let's readjust this stuff here there we go here's our passenger train can follow it in our first passengers they're gonna go we've got 30 people on our first train journey now it is a really basic train line it's just running from this village let's see what the inline train is like it's a little bit flickery but there we go it sort of comes in to our college connecting with our main city and that's just going to run backwards and forwards helping people there I think that's going to work quite well be quite efficient just for the time being going to save a lot of car journeys and we can also add another terminal but for now that's working quite well. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Okay, and just to finish things off, I had planned to put this building down near the harbour, but it's so big, I'm going to have to put it up here. And I've just flattened the terrain. Now, this is the lemonade factory. And I've not actually used this one before because you need the steel to be able to produce the glass. And we are producing glass. We're just exporting it at the moment. But now we're right next to this cargo terminal. We can have the glass shifted up from the steel plant, brought down to here. We can export everything from here as well. So it's a really good place to place it. It's just slightly too big to shove down on the sea front there. So I think it'll sit here quite nicely. And traffic wise, it should work really well. Like I say, being right next to the cargo terminal, it should work really well there just connect this road here so it's slightly longer for skylines today I think this was a, a little bit longer this episode but managed to get quite a bit done and we finally got our first basic train line in also starting to get a bit of a skyline on our city as well now with the denser commercial buildings just to adjust this road but I'm liking it so I'll probably put a little bit of detailing down off camera and next time we continue we'll probably be opening up a different area of the map let's just give this some power I think I can open a couple of slots and I think we could actually move across onto the opposite island as well now so things are really really starting to come along but that's about all the time I have there. So until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.